sometimes you, you look at a politician or you look at Kevin McCarthy and say, that guy's pliable, he's just like a bowl of jello. Or McConnell, he'll do anything he can to stay in power. When you look at these Christian nationalists and you look at Mike Johnson or you look at people I talked about, Woody Jenkins, Tony Perkins, the, the influences in his light, you have to understand something. These people are committed. They believe this shit. They believe it in their bones. And what they'll do, if you meet them, they're very polite, but they want, they want a theocracy. Johnson has already said he doesn't believe in democracy. Uh, and they do these covenant eyes where he spies on his kid and the kid, that's what they want. They, they, they want to spy on you and they believe it. They, they really do. And it, would, it is a mistake to look at them and think that they're just phony baloney, full of shit, say anything politicians. No. They're committed to this, and they think they're right, and to take them as anything else is a giant mistake. And so that's the purpose of this lecture. This guy was formed into being what he is, and he is an avowed anti-democratic theocrat. And if you want to know what they think, and they're all evangelicals, let me refer you to a document I think it was from the 1870s, it put out by the Catholic Church called the Syllabus of Errors, which might be the most profoundly stupid document in the last 200 years, and they believe what you will read in the Syllabus of Errors. They may not be papist, but they think democracy is a sign of weakness. They think that theocracy is the way we should go and we should be run by people, and they're, they're, they're very upfront about it. And the biggest mistake that you can make is think that they're full of shit because they don't think they are. And they'll be nice to you, they'll smile, they'll fellowship, but these are really, really fanatical people who want to get into every aspect of your freaking life. Trust me. <laughs>